Hi, my name is Jim. Hey, I'm Rebecca, and this is our mess. We are a family of six living in a 36-foot RV while we tame this mess and create a homestead for our family. I was really wanting some brownies. And I can't buy anything out of the store because um, at the moment I'm not eating sugar. I started eating Trim Healthy Mama. Trim Healthy Mama is a wonderful way of eating. Um, they um, take out white flour and white sugar, but pretty much everything else you can have, just you're juggling the different categories. So they're a great way to eat. If you're interested, check them out. Um, so I started eating Trim Healthy Mama several years ago after my son and dropped um, a lot of the baby weight but then of course I got pregnant again and again and stopped eating such a healthy way. I'm so. back on the bandwagon. I am eating Trim Healthy Mama. I've cut out sugar. Uh, I really wanted to continue my my good eating habits. I needed something chocolatey and crunchy and sugar um, or at least sugar tasting now. Uh, and normally I just whip up a batch of Trim Healthy Mama brownies. They're great but it's a little more difficult in the travel trailer. Um, so uh, I've managed to do it and I'm so proud, so I'm gonna show you how. In the travel trailer, the first thing I have to do is unearth my baking supplies. I have all of my baking gear and my special ingredients underneath the couch. This recipe called for melted butter. So I did that first and then reset my countertops so I had space to work. Instead of heating up the oven, this time I decided to use my Instant Pot Vortex Air Fryer. I love this tool. I can make brownies. I can also do air frying vegetables and I can even cook a whole rotisserie if I wanted to. The bag that I'm using here is my sugar substitute. It's Trim Healthy Mama's Gentle Sweet. I use it in anything that has chocolate. It is a blend of stevia, xylitol, and erythritol. The YouTube description will have a link to the recipe that I used. If you'll notice, it calls for coffee, which I love. I love every recipe that pairs chocolate and coffee together. I just think it makes the chocolate recipes so much more chocolatey. Now that I have the liquid ingredients together, I went ahead and mixed up the dry ingredients separately. I didn't have the baking blend that it called for, uh, so I had to do my own substitute, which was a coconut flour instead. You can do coconut flour or almond flour, but I really like the Trim Healthy Mama's baking blend. It makes the baked goods so light. I'm always having to clean up after I mix anything because there is no counter space. So after every single step, I've got to put away what I just used and get out the next thing. I like to use parchment paper when I bake because it makes cleanup really easy and I can just take the whole thing and put it in the refrigerator. You do have to refrigerate most of the Trim Healthy Mama baked goods just to make them last longer. Once the brownies were in the oven, I could clean up. I washed the dishes and put away the ones that are stored under the couch. And then finally, I could reset my living space. Cushions go back on the couch and everything gets vacuumed so that the vinyl is not everywhere. In later weeks, I became brave enough to try to conquer my travel trailer oven. It's very small and it's a gas oven and it has hot spots. So there were some things that I had to overcome, but I really wanted to make my chicken soup recipe into a chicken pot pie, crust and all. So I went ahead and cooked my chicken in my Instant Pot, another tool I absolutely adore, and I tackled pie crust making chicken pot pie today and I've got the chicken cooking. Um, I'm gonna fix that, but first I gotta make the pie crust. And since I'm gluten-free, this is the first time ever trying a gluten-free pie crust. Um, we'll see if it works. And I need a cup and a half of that.
never made it before, so I don't know if it's good or not. If it's good, I'll put the recipe in the description. Teaspoon. Baking powder. And a teaspoon of salt. Stir that together. Make sure it's all nicely mixed. And now, now comes the fun part. Because you have to incorporate the butter. Six tablespoons. I'm going to chunk this up. Key to a good pie crust is keeping everything cold. Alright, so you want to toss around the butter in there, and then you're going to use your fingers. Okay, you want to crumble each little piece of butter with the flour in between your fingers. You're kind of squishing them. You gotta do this fast, so it's gonna give the pie crust its nice, flaky texture. Okay, and now we're gonna add sour cream. So this is half sour cream, half Greek yogurt. very shaggy, which is good. We're going to add just a splash of ice water. Just until it starts to come together. Right. That's looking good. Okay, now I'm going to take the pie crust. to knead it. This is how I knead my pie dough. And when you knead your pie dough using the plastic wrap, it keeps it from getting all on your hands. You're touching it less. You can do it faster and you can build some good, good layers, which is what you're looking for here. So I just kind of knead it two or three times, press it together, go the other direction. And after two or three times, it's starting to come together, and that's what you want. So I'm going to bring it all together into a ball and refrigerate it, let it rest. All right. That's going to go in the fridge. Clean up for the next process. our chicken. What we're going to do is take off the chicken and save the chicken and the juices. Okay. Now this juice is very important. We're going to need it for the chicken pot pie. So that's going to get strained. Go in 
the scrap bag. And then I use the ends of everything and the bones of the chicken, some plain water, and make soup. <laughs> you know what? I'm thinking I'm going to put ice water in the jar. Got the ice. I've got the water. <laughs> right. This is working pretty good. It gives an added weight, actually. The most interesting rolling pin I've ever used. <laughs> It works, yeah it does. Not quite a perfect rectangle. You got somebody to keep the baby happy. Exactly. It's a tough job. <laughs> Grandmas are great for that. to the mess. Where God takes our mess and makes it his best. Yes. 